The hardcore of the Liberation Army are professional soldiers, but thousands of students and peasants are joining them. There is little time for formal... Ishak, a 19-year-old student, took us with his patrol to inspect several villages. He is said to have killed 56 men. There was shelling yesterday, and one motor she landed here, three-inch motor, and it killed a cow, you know. And on that side of the village also, a few civilians were injured by fire from small arms. You see, shelling continues here almost all the time. And you've been very you see, lucky enough not to have any shelling right now. <laughs> The guerrillas' lack of arms and ammunition is compensated by their passion for an independent Bangladesh, and their hatred of the West Pakistanis is constantly renewed by the stories that the refugees tell them. I wish I could take you inside. All the cantonments in Bangladesh are nothing but concentration camps. These hundreds and thousands of girls are kept there as prisoners. They are tortured, they are raped, they are dishonored. And, and after that, they're killing them. You see, all the dead bodies are floating in the rivers. But this is surely several months ago, not now. It is going on still now. Yahya is the initiator of all this. He's the greatest culprit that human civilization can imagine. He's just in the same rank with Hitler and his companion. When the pressure builds up in certain yeah. areas. Yeah. Therefore, we have got to leave the people at the mercy of the Pak army. The guerrillas admit that some peasants collaborate with the Pakistan army, and I got the impression that they dealt with briskly when they discovered. But there is no doubt that most of the people I saw were united with the guerrillas. Despite the punishment the Pakistan army inflicts when it finds out, the villagers still continue to supply the Mukti Forge with food, shelter, and information. And that was one of their faults. And later on, they have been feeding us the Mukti Forge. And uh, that was their fault. And when they got them unarmed, and no Mukti Forge was around, so the Pak Army came in and just burnt off the village and killed a few of them. These people who were unarmed and uh, couldn't put up any resistance, Pak Army just came and slaughtered them and raped their women, burned the houses. And there are many villagers sideways just like this.